Hello guys, today we will learn how to do message trace in Office 365. So for this, we will have to go to Exchange Admin Center. So once we log into our Exchange Admin Center, we will go to Mailflow, Message Trace, and we will run a trace. So the message trace can be run on the basis of sender or the recipient. So here we will do it on the basis of recipient. So I've created a test user in my environment. So I'll run it on test user. So it will be test.office365 at chantry.com. So here you get an option to run the trace for two days, one day, or past 12 hours, six hours, 10 days, 15, 30, 90 days. It goes up to 90 days maximum. The summary, if you want to see the summary, that goes only up to 10 days so if you do it 15 days it will ask you to download a csv file so which will be an extended message trace which we will cover in our next video for now we'll do it for one day we click on search so here and you'll be able to see that there are three emails that have been received for this particular user test.office365 at shantry.com so two of them have been delivered so we'll check the first one over here you can see the sender the recipient the status it shows as delivered it was delivered to the recipient's inbox folder so in case if the recipient has created custom folder like let's suppose he has created a subfolder under inbox and he has created a rule to deliver this particular email in that custom folder so here you will be able to see that particular custom folders name that the message was delivered to let's say abc folder it will show you the delivery date and time apart from this you'll be able to see the message events which will be the receive event the transport rule event and and the delivery when it was delivered to the inbox another example that i have sent an email to this email address which contains uh, you know some spam information or let's say some malicious information as per the office 365 security policies that i have in my tenant in case if somebody sends me or sends any of my user any spam email so it should be quarantined so here you can see the email has been quarantined so unfortunately the details of the analysis for this particular email by microsoft is not available however in my next video i'll show you how to look for this quarantined email and to check check why exactly it was quarantined another test that i've sent is test 2 so again the same events were generated here as well and the same information so this was a quick overview for how to run a message trace in office 365 that's all for today thank you so guys if you have any questions uh, any queries regarding this particular video please drop a comment and please do like and subscribe to the channel thank you